Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Midnight Caller back up in this piece with episode three of Brews and Views. Man, it's been a little over a month since I've done one of these. Glad to be back with another great craft beer selection. This time I have an IPA, and it is by Twisted X Brewing Company. Now, the very first episode, I did one of their other beers. It was a Jalapeno Pilsner, which is very good as well. This one, I took a little taste earlier and very impressed as you notice i did pour the uh the beer into the into the glass already since i'm doing this on my own don't have my partner in crime rachel today filming me so let's get on with the the information on the chupa hopra beer that i picked up as uh, it's a 7.5 on the alcohol volume as like I said, by Twisted X uh, Brewing Company, you can check them out at TexMexBeer.com. This is an IPA. Actually, their only ale that they um, that they do, as far as their line, they do pilsners and lagers and other other beers as well. But uh, that's what mostly what they stick with. But very happy to score this Chupa Hopra. I've been looking for it and finally scored a six pack. Six pack ran me seven ninety nine. So. <clears throat> a little under 10 bucks with tax but yeah it's freaking awesome artwork you know just like the fuego one was pretty cool and um yeah some from dripping springs texas which is a, like a stone's throw away from austin and very 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 excited to finally score this i know Derek, ak mr cinema junkie uh has been wanting to try this as well so I'm going to save you this one and give it to you at Texas Frightmare Weekend next month, brother. <clears throat> All right. So let's get on with the beer, man. What it looks like. Beautiful amber color. Pretty dark. And nice and uh, beautiful head with a lot of webbing because I had a drink earlier. And looks and smells fantastic. And just a beautiful, like, golden amber color take another drink though there you go mm. a little sweet at the end not too bitter the bitter comes right away it hits you right away but the sweetness it um little make traces of caramel almost it um it's just a good overall taste uh yeah nothing too citrus either really like it man if I had to rate this out of five, um, I'm going to go with a 4.5. Yeah, I'm going to give it a five, man. I'm not, I'm not into points. Just let me give it a five out of five. Very enjoyable IPA. One of the better ones I've tried in a long time. All right, so there's your, your brew for the episode. Now let's get on with the views, the second part. All right, first, first up, I watched Scum. This is a flick I had never seen before. And given to me by the great Steve Bennett, awesome friend from the UK connection. And man, this movie is fucking awesome. Had some good brutal scenes in it, some gang rape, some suicide. Yeah, man, everything you could want. And a like a, you know, it's like, I don't know what they're called in the UK, but here in America, in the US, they're called like juvenile detention facilities. So this is like a juvenile detention uh facility and it's run amok with you know corruption and just brutality and all that good stuff to make a good um you know good violent flick scum very fucking awesome so glad to see this and on blu-ray it was pretty all right next up was uh charles bronson flick which i had been wanting to see since the longest time i probably i did see this back on cinemax in the good old days man and Derek hooked me up with a copy aka mr cinema junkie yeah kinjite forbidden subjects I'm, I'm, I'm butchering it i'm pronouncing it all mexican and shit but yeah um really cool like little spin-off uh like a little like asian like uh you know a little atmosphere going on here with the subject matter deals with uh pimping uh pimping out um underage girls so yeah man it's pretty uh you know 
pretty good, pretty interesting topic. Uh, you know, the, this is a olive film release. It's actually the first olive Blu-ray I've seen, and the transfer was fucking beautiful, man. Yeah, I really dug the transfer. I really didn't, you know, wasn't expecting any special features from what I hear. They don't have much, but the movie and the and the transfer, the audio is fantastic. Uh, really good. Uh, flick as well man bronson's a motherfucker man he's such a motherfucker gotta love him yeah all right next up i watched the eroticist lucho fulci man and yes he not only does horror movies he's also known for his westerns and like his uh, sexy comedies among other things and giallos etc yeah this he's a maestro he's a master man of his craft so this is a sexy comedy with a religious twist you know it being from italy uh it there's um some of the you know the um the catholicism in here dealing with like bishops and popes and all that good stuff but uh but it it's not like serious it's uh with a comedic twist so this guy he's like going um to run for senate over there in italy you know or president i don't know something like that and uh, he has a problem with, uh, you know, just grabbing butts whenever he, like, he sees an ass bent over or a chick that's really hot. He hasn't, he has, um, he has, like, something in him that just makes him grab the ass. And that's not good if you want to become president or high in the Senate. So he goes to, like, this kind of counseling in a convent full of nuns and all kinds of fucking sleazy fun uh pursues and i thought this was fantastic i'm not big on religion much but it was done very well um lucho fulci you gotta give it up to him man sexy comedy fun i was laughing my ass off yeah definitely give us a shot if you have not seen it might be out of print already all right uh next up it's dawn of the dead on blu-ray and this is like the first time this is the first time i've seen this flick outside of a vhs or a tv um airing i've never seen it on dvd and this is my first time watching it on blu-ray so from going from vhs and tv skipping dvd quality and jumping to the blu-ray it's fucking phenomenal it blew my mind the transfer was great loved it the audio was fantastic that i mean the, the transfer was awesome but the audio really stood out in my opinion uh, compared to the vhs copy that i've watched like a million times i do own the director's cut vhs so being like so used to that one um the theatrical cut kind of threw me off you know in some scenes i noticed like you know i won't get too much in the particulars but i noticed like that those 10 minutes you know believe it or not because when you just watch a director's cut like most of your life like yeah you'll notice like those 10 minutes of lost footage but regardless man i like the flow of it without those 10 minutes actually of this film it made a big difference in my opinion and the audio is just fantastic man loved it so awesome to see this on blu-ray and i'll revisit that very soon all right another view i had was houseboat horror this is an australian uh little slasher here i don't know if it's shot on video or not but it's it's like your really cheesy shot on video feel to it. It's about these guys uh, that are in a band that are going to go shoot a music video. So they go out into this houseboat. It's a couple houseboats and go shoot the, uh, the video. And they get knocked off one by one by this killer who was killed like in a video shoot years before. Uh, not the greatest gore, but some fucking awesome scenes, man, that were a lot of fun. Houseboat Horror, Australian gem, right, hidden gem right here. Got to check it out if you get a chance. And last, we have some sleaze. We have Laura Jempster. Oh, yeah. Emmanuel in Bangkok. Uh, yeah, this one is fucking beautiful. I love my Joe Diamato Emmanuel films. And uh, this one's great. Um, Emmanuel is, goes to Thailand, goes sleaze it out over there. And of course the, the visuals, the atmosphere is fucking beautiful. The locales are exotic. The last 30 minutes, she's actually like in North Africa, but it's okay. We'll forgive it. And, uh, man, it was a, 
it was a good flick. Uh, you know, not overly sleazy, just a great, good amount of sleaze. Just like I said, beautiful exotic locales, and there is a ping pong scene, uh, which uh, you know will tickle your pickle if you know what I'm saying. So that's gonna be it, guys, for Brews and Views episode number three.